Miguel Rosales arrived at the Chapel Ridge Clubhouse Tuesday morning to work on the pool. Instead, he ended up with bullet holes in his work van, cleaning up broken glass. My windows broke it, both windows and the check over there. Rosales says a group of eight to ten students were gathered here around 10:30 this morning. They wait for the bus. Then he says a man with a gun ran up and started shooting. Are you close to Byers Bridge and Chapel Bridge? We have shooting at that location. And me and the kids over there running everywhere. One of the kids was hit in the leg. One's going to be a one GSW to the left side. What you try to see over there, the guy is running. Just help me, help me. And not try to help you. One witness who did not want to be identified said she heard the commotion from her home office and saw the possible suspects passing through her yard. I seen some kids crossing over in the back because I can see right out back. And so they came around the side of the house and probably two minutes later I heard pop pop and I immediately stood up and said, oh my God, some, somebody's been shot. This witness says her instincts led her toward the gunfire. It's my nature, like I'm in health care, so that's what I do. So I ran up and um, he was already laying on the ground. They had a towel or a jacket around his leg. She says she and her neighbor used their medical backgrounds to help the victim while they waited for police. Two nurses are putting on a tourniquet now. We just basically reassured the, the guy. You know, I held pressure on top of the, the things he had on his legs. I held pressure on top of those. Cleaning up glass and administering care to a gunshot victim wasn't the plan for either of these witnesses Tuesday morning. But they say they're both grateful things didn't turn out worse. Literally, I opened the front door as they were running around the side of my house. And so it could have went another way, but it wasn't in the cars today. So I'm thankful for that.